Okay, welcome back, guys. I'll be honest, I'm I'm a little nervous today because not not because my guest is here. My guest is a wonderful person, very on fire right now with what she's putting out. But I'm nervous because we might be on fire for what we're about on to. On fire, we're gonna be rolling around. We're gonna be rolling, <laughs> rolling around. We're gonna be it's gonna be flaming maybe <laughs> right here in the chest. Um, Oh God! I don't know. I don't know if what we'll do easy. We'll do halves. We'll, we'll do. <laughs> we'll do halves. Yeah, we'll do halves. Anyway, well, if if people watch the the last podcast, they'll know how bad of <laughs> an alcohol intake we, I just did. But today we we'll, we'll go easier. But that's okay. A little anyway, easier. Yeah. Um, I just want to bring on a special guest who um, is a social media strategist, mm -hmm. volleyball player, mm -hmm. right? I'm a, I am was actually a volleyball oh, player, yeah. too. Yeah. Okay. So I, I understand exactly. Okay. You know. Oh, we could talk about that, too. Yeah, we could talk about yeah. that. And, um, but I, I want to bring on this person who is actually a new guest because I've had a string of um, old guests mm -hmm. that I brought on maybe these past three episodes. Yeah. So um, I want you guys to give a round of applause. For Miss Kayla Kilaulani. Woo! Oh, you said it right. Some people don't say it right. You gotta say it slow. I know. You gotta. You gotta read. It's. You say it how it's spelled. That's what a lot of people struggle with. Yeah. Right? They're like, you know, how do you? you I think it? if you say it too fast, well, like with Hawaiian words, you yeah. say it too fast. It, it's like practice. You know yeah. what I mean? That, that's why when you know you you like commencement or like you know yeah. graduations and stuff, they they kind of maybe they mm -hmm. say it a little slower. Just so that they can pronunciate everything. Yeah. You know? But I think yours is pretty easy. Yeah, mine's running. pretty easy. You yeah. know what it means? What does it mean? It means the heavenly tea leaf. <laughs> okay. How's that? Yeah. It's pretty cool. No, that's pretty cool. Because ki, ki in Hawaiian is tea. Okay. And then lao, like lao lao is leaf. And mm. then lani is heaven. So like heavenly oh, tea leaf. Okay. I know. Oh. It's kind of weird, but I mean, it sounds great in Hawaiian, but huh. you oh. never know. Heavenly lao lao, you know what I mean? Heavenly lao lao. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, so first off before we get into our first question we're gonna start off smallest <laughs> bottle to smallest to biggest biggest is that um, right okay all right so this is well it, it's festive this is an spiked eggnog okay this one burns it right? does it does burn you probably should have went big as the smallest <laughs> actually actually this one's very light i i barely feel okay this that's one. okay we can you but, know uh, so have these have these we'll have yeah. these okay. so eggnog like so rum or mix? Oh, that's a good question. Um, you know, I've never had eggnog. Oh, okay. So it's a blend of whiskey, brandy, and rum. Oh, that's why it burns. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that makes sense. God, this is, this is so bad. What the hell, man? I got to work tomorrow. I know. Okay, wait. All right. All right. No, I can. We can. It's, it's better if you mix it with something. We'll do it every once in a while. We won't, you know. Okay. Okay. Kampai. Cheers. Kampai. <sighs> well, actually, that that, that, that was wasn't, good. That wasn't too bad this yeah. time. Yeah. Maybe I'm used to it. I <laughs> Maybe it, <laughs> I it mean, actually wasn't bad. When did you drink it? Were you, were you <laughs> it was last week. Last week, <laughs> last week it was it was really it was really bad. But actually, today it was it wasn't too bad. Yeah, I feel like anything with cream and alcohol, it it balances out. You know. <laughs> like um like <laughs> rum <Beelies. chata? laughs> oh okay yeah that yeah. you know that one's kind of cinnamony creamy mm. that one's not that bad so okay yeah oh gosh Ooh, i like these shot well glasses. well we're just starting off right so yes. we, we got one bottle down one bottle down okay How, how'd you like that one you that one was good i like that i like good? yeah good flavor okay is that really what eggnog tastes like yeah kind of honestly yeah because yeah. we mixed it with eggnog mm. so like extra extra eggnog yeah, extra eggnog. <laughs> so, yeah, it, I guess so. I mean, I don't know. I, I haven't had, like, like authentic eggnog. Mm -hmm. Me neither. It was only, like, what? It was a Safely brand or something? I always felt like I would be disgusted by eggnog. You know? Yeah, just maybe. Oh, custard. So, yeah. 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 So. <laughs> anyway, it's a good start. Um, but, Kayla, tell, yes. us, uh, tell us about what you do and why you do it and how you even got there. Okay, so I am an Instagram and content strategist. Mm -hmm. So Instagram strategies as in, you know how Instagram let out their algorithm this past year. Mm -hmm. um, before that, I was studying the algorithm during COVID. 
because I wasn't I wasn't working and I was just on my phone all the time like we all were. Mm-hmm. So I was like, let me just like learn some stuff. I liked learning about it. I liked details about things, why things work. I like figuring things out. Mm-hmm. So that's why I started to learn the algorithm. Um, and then I would say beginning of last year, I went back to work at the Modern Hotel. I was in tourism. So I went back to work. Mm. And then after a while, I just felt like it just didn't fit me. So then I got out or I didn't got out. I left the I left the company and I was just sitting there and I was like, you know what? Like, let me like think of like what I can do. Like, what am I good at? What do I like to do? How can I incorporate that into like building a business? So after like knowing about Instagram, like I had all these notes, I had all these documents, everything was like there, but I never like used it. Like Mm. I never launched anything. I Mm -hmm. never like took clients in to teach them about it but then i started putting out tips here and there on instagram i was like okay like i know this like a lot of people didn't know about it Mm. you know like small stuff that the instagram talked about that nobody read about Mm -hmm. so that's why i got into instagram because i felt like it was such a it's such a vital thing for businesses people who want to spread their word or people who want to like make an influence like that's something you got to learn you know i don't think about it as just like a social media platform i think about it as like a marketing base like Mm -hmm. we're no longer in the era where it's normal or not even normal just like it's just such an it's such an easier platform to use and it's free yeah convenient yeah Mm -hmm. i don't know if you've seen the movie um social dilemma did you see that movie yeah Mm -hmm. so they talked about they look you and talk shit about social media (laughs) yeah (laughs) but in my eyes i was like i was like no we're not gonna do this like yeah people have taken it the wrong way but a lot of people Mm -hmm. have made great things from it a lot of people's businesses have thrived a lot of people were connected with family members they never met before Mm -hmm. you know a lot of people came out of depression like there's so many good things that it can bring but I feel like that was kind of focusing on the negative. So right. I was like, no, we're not going to do this. No, we're not. No, we're not going to do this. We're not going to think negative. We're going to turn it a different way. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, just like any, any tool, right? Yeah. You can use it for good or you can, and use, you it for can bad. use it for bad. Yeah. And I don't, I don't like to use things for bad anymore. Mm-hmm. We're past that where COVID is over. Like we got to move the fuck on. So, right. mm-hmm. um, yeah. So when every, every, when I talk to people about Instagram, I try to just like, explain the way i view it because a lot of people have a normal way of thinking about it you know mm. like a social media thing like what when you think instagram what do you think about it uh you know, okay so before i used to use it just personal page you know mm-hmm. just to show people now it's more marketing you know i've been using it for podcasting mm-hmm. or just like if i do something out of the ordinary like i have some like an event or something yeah then I use you just want to just, show it yeah. yeah i just want to show it yeah. and um yeah, it's more of like a kind of like an art gallery. I look at it more too. See, art gallery. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people use that use it for that too, and mm-hmm. a lot of people made it a hobby now. Mm-hmm. And it's not just posting, but it's like what you do to create that content mm-hmm. and then put it out there. You know, people are into diving. They take videos of that. They put mm-hmm. it out there. They're showing their hobbies. They're showing what they're doing, and like a lot of them are doing such great things that it can inspire somebody else. Mm-hmm. So that's what I like to do. But that's just Instagram. Yeah. The content side is a whole other side, too. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people don't... A lot of people like to be visually appealed in a way, but they don't know how to get there. Mm. So I like to call it like a creative eye. I feel like that's you know what I have. I've always been involved in event coordinating. Um, my mom is a cake decorator. I've always been into art, just mm. creating things and just mm-hmm. like making things come to life and give you like that... Ah, yeah. That I'll be like, wow, like, oh my yeah. gosh. Like, even when I'm driving through Kakaako and I just see the art, like, I'll just stop and just, like, look at it. Mm. On my way here, I seen there was, like, a wall art in a school in Chinatown. I was like, what is mm. that? That's amazing, mm-hmm. you know? So I just visually, like, I see it. Mm. So you appeal to it. Yeah, right. I appeal to mm-hmm. it. Like, it catches my eye. Like, like when I show up with my clients, when they come, when they come to me and, like, invite me to a photo shoot or video shoot or an event that they're shooting... I'll be there standing and I'll be like, okay, I'm looking back. Like, what what looks good? Like, what do we want to catch? And then I'll catch this. But then they wouldn't think that. But then in my head, that's what happens. Mm. Yeah. So it just it just comes out. You can't really like explain it. You just got to see it. So I'm I'm a very visual person. And like, I just want to help people out. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if I can bring that out of somebody else, too, I want to do that. Mm -hmm. I've, I've you can't really teach creativity, but you can show them what it looks like. 
and then maybe it could open up something in their head that they haven't thought before or that I haven't even thought before. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's just opening up that side of you that you haven't touched yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's I totally get fun. that. It's kind of fun. Yeah, it's that, that connection. Yeah. You know, and even them. like this, like I came in here, I walked in here, I was like, wow, you have plants, bottles, the underlay. That's a fake plant, though. <laughs> it's okay. Plants are plants. Oh, well, yeah. Plants are plants. AKA, okay, nah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I got this whole vibe, yeah. you know. This is cute. Oh, and I see that too. That's smart. You, we'll, we'll do that after. Okay. You know, okay, you can yeah. sign that after. That's yeah, my uh, my little a autograph. This good balance one. of light. You know, it's not too crazy. It's telling you what you're about. You yeah. Know? So like this mat we're sitting on, actually, this is from Japan. Yeah, I seen that in one of your other ones. Um, even these cushions, these are from Japan. So the ones mm -hmm. we're sitting on, this lamp is from Japan. This one on the behind you. And then this one is from. Uh, <laughs> discount furniture. <laughs> <laughs> in Kanyo, <laughs> it's discount real word. It's, it's real wood, though. Real word from discount furniture. Yeah, <laughs> Japan. not an ad. <laughs> no, 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 not no. an ad. <laughs> Japan. <laughs> um, so yeah, you know what you're doing. I think it's it's super beneficial to businesses, but mm -hmm. also to people that maybe don't have a clue of what they're doing on social media or why they're doing it. Yeah. And then you just help them to kind of just navigate. Yeah, just navigate, express it. Um, yeah. Because, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people struggle with that. Like they're new mm -hmm. to the social media thing or, you know, they're not photographers or videographers. They don't edit, which is fine. Like sometimes mm -hmm. I don't even edit, but it's just like that's where I step in mm -hmm. to help you present what you have. Mm -hmm. And that's the most important thing in marketing is your presentation, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's just, yeah, it's just been a passion of mine. And it's honestly really fun. I have a lot of fun. Sometimes I even drink with my clients too while we're working. So. <laughs> like this guy right here. <laughs> Jeez. So how was that transition from, uh, and, and you can answer this after we try out some yes. of the light, lychee sake over here. Yes. Um, how was that transition going from, you know, hotel music industry to Ooh. something more like this, Ooh. like what we're doing now? That's a, that's a good one. Let me, let me sip on that one. But, but yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll try. Actually, whoa, that's you barely drank question. this actually. Oh, it's to the top. Oh, it's brand new. Really? Well, I think we had a... I don't, I don't know now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, oh, this is interesting. We're going to be mixing this with the... Oh, the I was wondering why it's white. Yeah. Nah, no need. Nah, no need. Can't handle. Nah. <laughs> I mean... Th actually, this one's light. I know this one's light because I... It's sake, so... Yeah, it's sake. Yeah. Some sake is, is pretty... Harsh. You know, honestly, the, um, the warm sake... You ever tried, like, warm sake? No, it, it's it, that can screw you up pretty bad. Really? Yeah, but I mean, it's okay. Warm socket. After a while, but when you drink it the first time, it, it burns and it's yeah, it's a little strong. But then it, it, it gets you really fucked up later. Honestly, the only socket I had, I don't even know if it was was Ichigo. Okay, yeah. I think th well that I know of. I don't know, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> cheers, kanpai. Kanpai. Yeah. cheers. <sighs> Smooth, right? Mmm. I like that. Honestly, you know, like if you could probably just down the whole thing without even knowing. Yeah, it. probably. Yeah. That's probably what happened. That's why it's a new bottle. <laughs> Her, um, my <laughs> wife, my wife's mom likes that. That it, one because well, it's it's smooth. Yeah, you know what I mean? it's easy. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah. But then uh, enough of it could screw you up. <laughs> oh yeah. So anyway, going back to um, the question, we're down. Yes. Second bottle. Yes. Um, okay. So how I went from the transition process. Okay. Yeah. So I got into the music industry when I was in college. I went to college at HPU mm. around, I think it was my junior year. We were in Chinatown for St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm. And I see my friend Dan, Dan Mangum. I'm going to shout you out, Dan Mangum. Okay. And he was like, hey, like, come to this bar. It's called Club Next Door. Um, I want to show you. It's pretty cool. So mm -hmm. I went up there. This is when Next Door. Have you ever been to Next Door? I think so. Back, maybe back. This yeah. is when they had like an upstairs and a downstairs. Yes. And there was the glass wall. Yeah, I yeah, remember. There are the glass windows. Mm -hmm. So I was, I was upstairs and I was looking out. I was like, oh, my God, this is so bomb. Like, this is fire. How mm -hmm. come nobody knows about this? So then like a couple of Fridays later, it was I think it was like first Fridays. Mm. And then I texted my friend. I was like, hey, like, I want to come to that bar. Can you let me know? Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, I was an athlete. So I had my volleyball girls. Mm. I told my 
basketball friends, baseball friends, soccer girls, just anybody who was around because it was in Chinatown and we all lived in Chinatown. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I brought them. Oh, nice. And which was like, we rode like 40 deep, you know, mm -hmm. just to one bar. Mm -hmm. And it's a I whole think, gang right yeah, there. a whole gang, the whole <laughs> shebang a lang. Yeah. But I think it was like 18 and up too. So it was, you know, yeah. it was good for everybody. So mm -hmm. we all went and it was all walking distance. We all walked. And then. After like a few more times, like I kept bringing more people because people started hearing about it. Then it went to like the regular students who were not athletes, and then mm -hmm. it just came to like their friends. So it basically like since that that year of college, that's when I got introduced into music because the MC, his name is Juju, mm -hmm. and the DJ was Dom. Then they came up to me and they were like, "Hey, like, do you want to be like a part of this?" It was called Highlight Entertainment. Mm. So it was like a, it was like the four of us. So it was me. Dan, Juju, who's the MC, and then Dom, who's a DJ. So, like, I'll bring the people. Dan also brings the people, and then they put on the show every Friday. Mm -hmm. So that's how I got into music. And then as we just got older, or as time went on, we, like, Juju did more gigs, and I got into weddings with Dom, so I got a lot into events. Mm -hmm. And then Dan gave me another opportunity to work with band projects. So okay. I, was like, I was like, oh, oh hell wow. yeah. yeah. I was yeah. like, hell yeah. I'm like, give me a number right now. I'm, <laughs> I'm on the way. It was like 11 o'clock at night, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, I went back projects. I interviewed with Flash and took me on. And then I think That's I spent, awesome. yeah, I spent quite a bit of time there. And then um, Flash was leaving. Mm -hmm. Flash um, left the company. And so I felt like, you know, like, this is my time. I think it was my, my senior year, ending a senior year or something. So I was like, okay, like, I kind of want to try something new. And, like, right when I was, like, thinking about that, Dan texted me again. He's like, hey, I have an opportunity for you in hotels or in tourism. Mm. Like, here's his number, Tanner, Tanner Nelson. So mm. he sent me his number. And then I got an interview with him, got the job, and that's when I got into tourism. Mm. So it started from college, then to music, then to tourism. And then from there, it just shuffled between all three because I, as I – as I still did tourism, I was still connected to music because there were gigs here. There were people there I mm -hmm. met at bars or whatever. And we just I just kept doing it. Mm -hmm. And then COVID happened. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's right. Wow. COVID happened. And but I learned a lot. You know, I've, I've done a lot of promotions, met some artists, um, met a lot of coordinators, mm -hmm. restaurant owners, bar owners people in hotels like just it's a great i i feel like that was my space like i was meant to be around an environment where people are just like happy or having fun you know the, the entertainment yeah entertainment yeah. like hospitality like people are just like living their lives and like that's and i feel like that's a part of me too like i've always been like that i've always been this energetic person mm -hmm. who's just like wants to like let's go let's go let's go let's get it let's go you know so i just yeah. it i felt like it was a part of me but then now after COVID, that's when I sat back and I was like, okay, how can I incorporate that part of me into like a business? Because I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur. My mom, she's she's owned her cake business, I don't know, for like ten over ten years, mm -hmm. and then she like opened her bakery, opened a bakery twice, and then she shut it down because she wasn't spending enough time with us. So like I was mm -hmm. just trying to figure it out. So I knew I was, I was meant to be an entrepreneur. I knew I was good at being a promoter. Mm -hmm. But then I also knew that I knew the algorithm and I had a creative eye. Mm -hmm. So I incorporated all those things into one, mm. you know. So I've, I've learned a lot from the music. I've learned how to network with people and who, how to depict who to, who to keep on my team and who not to keep on my team. What my environment is like, what it's not like, what makes people happy, what doesn't make people happy. Just, just how to maneuver around people. Mm -hmm. That's how, that's what I learned from that. Now I can incorporate that into what I've learned through the algorithm, through content and work with people that way, mm. you know, and bringing it all together. Yeah. Bringing it all together. Ooh, mm. that just sounds juicy. <laughs> Ugh, makes me so happy. Yeah. That's how, that's how it's shifted. It's shifted. A lot, but I'm still open to doing events. You know, I love I love doing events. You know, I gotta have a little kick here and there. I can't be around the computer the whole time, so I do have some things coming up in mind. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah. So, what was it like? And I, I hear this term from um, another podcaster named Pat McAfee, who's a mm -hmm. who's a kicker. He used to kick for um, the Colts, Indianapolis Colts. Okay. Um, but he created his own business. He created his own 
talk show mm-hmm. from there. Now he has like a thirty million dollar deal with FanDuel, right? Wow. But he always talks about um, betting on yourself. You know, what does that mean for yourself? Because basically you went from the tourism industry Mm -hmm. music industry but you transitioned to being a business owner and now you're just betting on yourself betting on Mm -hmm. you know your brand and moving it forward how how is that transition process for you and then even that's the kind of support you Mm -hmm. know what i mean that you've gotten yeah so that's a good question um we could we could take another shot yeah let's do that let's do that i'm down for that uh oh shoot i just well i don't i don't even know this brand um (laughs) Oh, this is the wine. Okay. This okay, is we can do that. We can do a full shot for wine. Okay. Okay. This is white wine. Yeah. Actually, I used this to cook uh, oh. something the other day. That's why I got it. Oh, we're mixing a lot of different stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it gets... <laughs> what are you giving me, Kevin? <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little murkier. Um, but uh, that might be a reflection of... Um, <laughs> <laughs> what we might be feeling soon, <laughs> actually. Um, all right, cheers. Come by. Actually, I, I feel better than I did the other day. So. I think that was meant to sip on because it was wine. <clears throat> We're not supposed to take a shot of wine. Oh, what the fuck, man? <laughs> <clears throat> wait, why did <laughs> wait, wait, wait. why did we take a shot of that? It was wine. I don't know, but fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> we should have, si- yeah, we should have. Yeah, we should have sipped on it. I mean, it, was, it wasn't heavy, but it was just, mm, it was, too, it was a dry wine. First of all, I thought this was all liquor, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I wasn't even sure what this one was. I I forgot the brand. That's why. Sauvignon, Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah, I. What did I cook with that? I cooked the um, chicken. Fuck my chicken. What did I cook with the white wine. Oh shoot, I forgot now. I, I like to cook. That's why. That's one of the things that I do on the side. But yeah. What did he make? You don't know, yeah. I don't. Oh, what did I make? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get back to all of you. <laughs> I'll let you know. I'll uh-huh. send you a recipe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but going back to the question, um, betting on yourself, and. Um, betting on yourself as a, as a brand because mm-hmm. now you're promoting yourself and promoting others now. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. So. Um, so this is not the first time I've tried to do, I've tried to run a business, you know, mm-hmm. start my own thing. Oh, what was it? It was French onion soup. Oi. I mean, French <laughs> onion soup. I'm over here thinking meat. I'm like chicken, steak, fish. <laughs> Ooh, oh, yeah, I could do that with yeah. fish. I thought that's what you make wine with. I don't know. I'm not a cook. I don't know. I'm a oh. baker. <laughs> Oh, that's good, too. Yeah. Yeah. Take out. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, um, yeah, so this is not the first time that I tried to start my own business. It's actually probably the third time mm. that I've tried to kick this off, and only now it's actually worked. But before, I think I, I first started do, trying to start my business in 2017, 2018. Okay. That's when I, I was so... I wasn't educated yet. Like, mm. I knew what I was doing with what I was doing, but there were so many other things that came into play mm-hmm. because I was, I was doing marketing. That's what I went to school for. That's what I wanted to do. That's mm-hmm. what, like, I was doing for events and tourism. Mm-hmm. So I was doing marketing, but then I realized, like, there's so many things I have to learn I haven't learned yet. Mm. And I tried so hard, but I just couldn't. I couldn't get it down. I just felt so discouraged. So then I went back to work at hotels. Mm. And then that's when COVID happened. And then that's when I tried to study and get all this information in. But it just felt so overwhelming. I couldn't. And then I went back to work. Mm. So it took a lot of it took it out a lot of a lot of overnights, a lot of all nighters studying or meeting people there was a lot of bad things that happened too, you know, like a lot of things didn't go my way. You know, I was mistreated or whatever. Like I didn't, but I had to learn that in order to get here. I'm Mm -hmm. stronger now. I've learned it from owning my own business and working in tourism and events. I had to do all that stuff. And Mm -hmm. I only realized that now because now I can figure out how to maneuver certain situations with clients or I know where to find somebody who can do this for me because I met, only met them a year ago, but they're, mm. they're doing well now. So mm-hmm. I feel like all of that happened for a reason in order for me to start now, mm-hmm. you know? So, fuck, what was the question? <laughs> well, I mean, 
what you were talking about. That's pretty I much mean, it, yeah. It, it speaks. It speaks to like, um, you know, your maturity because you had to really think about things. Yeah. Early on, I mean, even for myself, I had to. Um, I used to teach kids at church. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it doesn't look like you know, <laughs> that. Can, can. You know, God drink wine too. <laughs> well, you know, what, what's encouraging is I see them now at like when we community college or something, mm-hmm. you know, taking classes and stuff, college yeah. classes. So, but like before, I would. Um, I, I had to kind of grow up a little quicker, and you, yeah. and you understand mm-hmm. that too, right? Because like for me, I was going in a path. I didn't really know what I wanted to do, but I knew what I enjoyed doing, which yeah. is connecting with people. And yeah, so with kids, I used to teach them at church and stuff, yeah. and um, for like ten years. Wow! So I did that from when I was a freshman in high school, and then wow. I stopped and I was like twenty three or something. Uh huh. Um, but that's and your learning stages. Like that's that was my learning stages. Yeah. Yeah. So um, like now I'm, I'm, I'm 29 now. Mm-hmm. But, you know, with all that experience, I was able to carry that with what I'm doing now and how I connect with people, how mm-hmm. I network. Yeah. Um, and how I, you know, handle certain maneuver situations, you know, maneuver yeah. situations, like you were saying. Yeah. So I, I totally believe that some things are meant to happen Mm -hmm. because they're supposed to help you to grow yeah right and um for yourself now you're you're putting it all together because you had to go through those situations where Mm -hmm. things just didn't go your way and it's not it's not even just going through the things it's like taking the breaks too Mm. you know you think like you're lifting in the gym you're not gonna lift for an hour straight with no rest you gotta take a break you know you gotta (laughs) sit back you know relax and (laughs) get that strength to bank up yeah (laughs) in a hospital already <laughs> working out that long <laughs> yeah they didn't rest I mean, yeah so get a rest once in a while which is know? good you know so i mean unless their recovery is really good you yeah know? <laughs> they take steroids and then they fucking <laughs> ten thousand reps holy shit pump it up yeah no yeah don't do that at all sorry <laughs> we're not we're not a no not that kind not we're that not kind. a we're not a pro steroid show here no, we're not, all we're right not. we don't do drugs we're, at, we're anti-drugs you know what i mean never done drugs in my life we're pro alcohol i guess because we're drinking right now Very pro alcohol. <laughs> um support liquor <laughs> For anyone 21 and over. But, but drink it. drink responsibly. I just want to throw that in there, right? <laughs> drink responsibly, whatever you're doing. Because call your friends, call your mom. Yeah. Yeah, call call your, your father. Yeah. Some <laughs> unks. Where hey, you stay? Call, call your grandma, you know what I mean? My grandma, and, yeah, that too. You know, auntie, auntie might help yeah. you, uncle, you know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, all right, so we're, you know, let's talk about like the mental health side, right? Because... Mm-hmm. You know, you, we talk about the whole um, transition process and even trying to build yourself up to that point, right? Yeah. Um, how do you keep yourself motivated? Because we're gonna have to. Well, do this we're gonna have to do this. Okay. Yeah. Is this motivation? This is, is motivation. This is motivation. Nah, honestly, I've never, I've never turned to alcohol for. Oh, that's kind of not a habit. Oh God. Ah oh, shit. Oh, okay. Shit. Well. All right, we're already there. At least it doesn't look that. You know, this doesn't feel as bad as the other day, but this is this is this yeah. is. Well, good. you guys drank a whole bottle. We drank the whole bottle, and that wasn't supposed. And it that was wasn't whiskey. Planned. This this is more planned, but th- that wasn't planned. Yeah, that was. Whiskey. Aye, aye, aye. Cheers. Come by, cheers. <coughs> you know, okay, quick <laughs> quick drinking story. So, for people that watch this. I used to drink a lot more back in the day, but I used to be able to handle. I, there was a, there was a, I went to uh, one of my friend's 21st birthday. Mm-hmm. I drank 20 beers, 10 Jaeger bombs. I actually drank one and a half bottles of Pinnacle. All right. One and a half. One and a half bottles of Pinnacle by myself. And I was up the whole time. I didn't sleep until the next day. That's alcohol poisoning, honey. But I was fine. I was, I was good. I was good to go. You never threw up nothing? No, never threw up. Did you? Oh, you ate that's why. Yeah. I never even eat. You never even eat? Nope. Was I was guy? hungry, though. Superman over here. Yeah. But see, <laughs> I can't. That was, I think it was like, I was 20. I was 20 when I Oh, that's that. when we could handle. That's when I could handle. Yeah. Now, nine years later, yeah. th- it doesn't work that way. This is all we can handle right now. <laughs> <laughs> Did the hangover hang? Well, see, I never had a hangover. That's, a, that's another thing. I wish. I wish I could never have hangovers like back then. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well, even now I don't. I don't even get hangover. 
Yeah. I, What's I, your drink? I, I don't know. As I'm like burping the alcohol out. <laughs> <laughs> We're goosebumps. <laughs> what? What's your drink? Well, well, I, I usually just drink beer. More, oh, that's why. Beer. beer don't do nothing. But the, but the thing is, like, even with shots, I, I can't even get to that point. I can get drunk, but I can't get to the point of, like, hangover status. So, like, when I did the last podcast, uh-huh. and, and people can watch that. We drank the whole bottle. But the thing is, I still worked this, the next day, and I got up early. Oh, no. And, but I slept late. I got up early, and I still functioned the whole day. It was, it was fine. But the thing is, when, when I, the last time I drank... That, that bottle, that was the, the last podcast. I only ate like four pieces of chicken katsu curry. You know what I mean? Like oh, the, no, the I chicken can katsu. eat. I feel like when I'm out, when I drink alcohol, I can eat. Oh, see, I, yeah. I totally get that. I'm yeah. a garbage disposal when I'm drunk, <laughs> for sure, for sure. <laughs> what's, your go-to, what's your go-to place? Go-to place to drink? Or go-to place to drink and then after, after the club. You know, I going? don't even go to clubs no more. Okay, but so but, let me but, think before. of bars. Let me think of like, okay. you know, not dive, maybe dive bars, but um, <laughs> Cinnamons. Cinnamons, oh, Ilikai. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. They're only open Thursdays through Sundays for now because COVID. But Cinnamons, mm. yeah. Just because like I've, I've been going there for years. Okay. I know I know the bartenders. The reg- I'm basically oh, nice. a regular there. Yeah. I'm mm. one of those old cats that just sits at the bar and only drinks three drinks for the rest of the day. <laughs> I only good. drink. I drink vodka soda. The Splash of Coke. Splash of Coke. That's it. Oh, that's good. Yeah. You know, not too much sugar. I feel mm-hmm. like that's what can fuck you up is mm-hmm. the sugar. Yeah. Too much sugar will get your stomach rolling True. and rumbling. Mm-hmm. WWE in that bitch. <laughs> 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 I told you, my swearing no more filter assist. <laughs> well, you mentioned WWE. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's, for, that's for the new school. WWF. That's, WWF. For the old, that's for the old school right there. WWF? Yeah. When you, they had the Rock and, and Stone Cold Steve Austin and stuff like it that. It was WWF. If it, it used to be WWF. Wait, what was it? What did it stand for? World Wrestling Federation. World Federation. What is? I thought it was E this whole time. It it, it turned to E because it's entertainment now, right? Since your your when? industry. Um, what do you mean? Because I was watching this when I was like seven. Okay, so the reason why they changed it was there was another WWF. Kay. And they wanted to they wanted to break away from that. Oh, they, from another business like trade. Yeah, I guess I guess there were some legal troubles with that, so Ugh. they went to WWE instead. I thought it was E this whole time. So they went World Wrestling Entertainment. Yeah, yeah I used to watch that when I was seven. <laughs> Bruh, seven years old. I was just going to preschool. Who who was your I favorite think. wrestler then? Rock. Who else? The Rock. Yeah. It's Mine was uncle. the Undertaker. That's my uncle. Nah. That's <laughs> <laughs> your uncle. <laughs> It's my uncle too. <laughs> <laughs> it's my uncle too. <laughs> I just saw him the other day. Hey. Hey, Stop, Alex. How are you? Hey, thank you. Uncle, uncle, uncle D. Uncle D. Uncle DJ, how are you? Uncle DJ. Hey, Uncle DJ. Hey, shout out to you, dog. <laughs> I'd be like, eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? Oh, I should have bought Terramana. That's what is that? that that's, his, that's his brand. Oh. Yeah, it's brand of alcohol. Sorry, I'm sitting on the <laughs> See, KK, she don't even know your brand, dog. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no so, so what, what's your go-to after you go to the bar? Okay, after I go to the bar, I go home. <laughs> Serious? I, I do, yeah. I'm tired. You don't go to like Jack's or McDonald's? You pick up something to eat? Oh, for get? food. Yeah, for Ooh. food. <sighs> Mine used to be Leaky Leaky. After the club, oh, we, go, we, go, we go to a whole restaurant. Leaky. Yeah. Oh. And okay, I know now. Mine was Zippy's. Okay. Next stop, Zippy's. Because Zippy's 24 hours. Yeah, Zippy's 24 it's hours. It's the only one that's 24 hours that has everything. Not the Kailua Zippy's now. Kailua oh. Zippy's, they close, I think, at 10. Oh, they no, used no, no. to be 24. No, because I was in Chinatown. All the homeless was kicking it at Zippy's. <laughs> you know how fun that was? To be Dumb. at Zippy's? <laughs> 4 o'clock in the morning with all the homeless there? Mm-hmm. Wow, that shit was hilarious. There mm-hmm. was a whole comedian show up in that bitch. Mm. Yeah. People be fighting. People be yelling at their food. Yeah, well, Zippy's was the go-to, you know yeah. what I mean? I, I used to still go Zippy's after. Restaurant side, you know? Yeah. Get local mocha or something. Or or in Chinatown, they used to have, um, like, the taco stands. Oh. Really? Yeah. You know, like, how by oh, Moose's. By okay. Moose's used to have, like, taco stands or hot dog stands. Yeah, they used to have them in Chinatown. Oh, shit. Yeah, that was fire. 
Anything convenient. But Zippy's is right down the road, so we just always go to Zippy's. And oh, I, so they used to be there midnight, like, after? Yeah. Oh, wow. Or, like, throughout the night, too. Because, oh, you know, because everybody's drinking. It's Friday night in Chinatown. Yeah, it's bussing, so. Mm-hmm. Oh, why do I talk like that? It's her fault. It's the pinnacle. It's the pinnacle. It's the top. It's the top of the chain. We're not even showing it, but people can, people know. They it, see it right they, there. They <laughs> <laughs> Look at us. We've been trying to hide the labels this whole time, but it's right there. Well, I mean, if they see the blue I bottle, know. They, they know. I know. They then know. the shape, too. There's only, only... Yeah, only if you drink, <laughs> you know uh, what that this is. Time you know what I mean? Hair, <laughs> <laughs> hair, right? <laughs> what would you what, what would you mix that with? Because I would say Pinnacle? orange juice. You know what I mean? But it's creamy. Oh, so that's like an orange bang. Yeah, orange bang. Ooh, yep. I like that. That's what I used to do. Orange, orange. dream, mm-hmm. Jamba juice. I'd mix that with orange juice, Jamba juice. You oh, can. really? Let me do that tomorrow. Whoa! I can take the bottle. <laughs> I mean, shoot. <laughs> yeah, I can take the bottle. Yeah. Well, well, we got to get rid of some of How this stuff. How's that? You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I never thought about that. Orange I know. Because you said orange juice. So I was like, okay. Orange dream. Oh, okay. So it's healthy, but it's, yeah. un- it's unhealthy too. I mean, alcohol is healthy. Yeah. It's detoxing. It burns stuff off. Yeah. Burns, <laughs> burns calories. <laughs> Wait, where do, where do, where do we know. leave what off? What was the question? It was, I think it was about mental health. Honestly, at that point. Like at this point, I don't even care. But mental health, yeah, let's do it. It's about mental health. <laughs> let's do it. Mental health. See, I, I, you know, I, I still, I still got it. You know yeah. what I mean? I want to see what I look like. <laughs> How much of my body is showing? It would show probably. Because if it's showing my, my little, fanny pack. Nah, is it, well, the the to- okay. the table is blocking everything. Yeah, because I feel like my butt's gonna go bust pretty soon. <laughs> Hey, sometimes I wear my exercise shorts. And <laughs> <laughs> people don't people don't know shit. You know what I mean? Well, well, they they see it through this camera, yeah. but but they don't know shit that I'm wearing exercise shorts. Please put this in. It's like a, it's like a Zoom meeting. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, I mean fuck it. I wear wear a nice shirt on top and then fucking you know night orange, clothes. Orange, orange vest. <laughs> I mean, I don't give a shit, man. This is this is this is the compai sky. This is the new. <laughs> Wait, I want to ask you a question. Okay, what's um, the question? You probably answered this in the podcast. <laughs> why did you change it from talk story to kampai? What was the thought process? Oh, of that? okay. So I don't think I don't know if I. You really didn't talk about that. that? I don't think I, what? I did. Yeah, nobody asked me that. That's a big thing. Okay. Because when you because when you were talk story, that's when I reached out. Okay. That's yeah. When, yeah, but mm-hmm. then you changed it to kampai. I was like, what? Talk story was such a good brand. Okay, but tell me. So I okay. I didn't talk about this in this podcast, but I did talk about it in someone else's podcast. Okay. About how, so the reason why I changed the name was, um, one, branding, because if I wanted to make it more, you know, merchandise and everything, mm-hmm. there's other talk story shows, and I'm not talking about- In Hawaii? In Hawaii. That are, say, that are branded talk story? Branded talk story, but then- I was I was talk story before them, but then I'm thinking about even before that. So when I when I first started the podcast, okay. I knew I was gonna change the name because when I when I made the talk story with Gavin Sugai, um, I knew there was other mainland podcasters that use talk story. Wow. I was like, they're not even freaking from Hawaii. What I was the like, fuck? isn't talk story a local thing? Exactly, and they stopped doing it. But the, because it's still there, it's. There, there could be some legal trouble later. You know what I mean? Uh. So I was like, okay, even if, even if they don't, they don't copyright the name, there's, there's some, there's going to be some weird shit later. Right. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I'm going to have to change the name yeah. later on. Um, how I got to Kampai Sugai, which was weird. I wanted to do something more like celebratory cheers. That's why I did this whole setup. Kampai. It, yeah. It, it, it's more like a tea. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Um, what was that Bud Light? That's a yeah, but like platinum. There you go. Hano. <laughs> Hano. <laughs> <laughs> I love platinum. They're, they're great. Um, but yeah, I, I got to Kampai because it was more uh, celebratory. You know, I wanted I wanted to do like a, a cheers thing. Yes. For the guest. Yes. And for the people at home because you know, um, and and I created my own hashtag. Yeah. Notice me Kampai. You know, like instead, that. Instead like of that. notice me senpai, notice me Kampai. Kampai. Okay. You know, hashtag. If you guys That's are smart. watching. That's smart. Yeah, they should post a picture of them drinking. If they want to post a picture while they're all watching the episode, notice me, Kampai. Yeah. And then I'll notice you. So, so Kampai, Kampai is cheers. It's cheers in Japanese. Japanese. It's, it's technically Kanpai, 
like K A N P A I, but because the N can also be an M sound, uh huh. We just, I just said, I'll just use Kampai. Hmm. You know what I mean? And then your last name. Also, uh, it rhymes too. Name. Yeah. You're I, meant for this. This is meant for you. Thank you. Kampai Sugai. Well, I, I <laughs> wanted to use my last name because I was thinking, okay, nobody else can take that. Yeah. Right? Yes. Nobody else can take that away from me because. Oh, it's juicy. I mean, nobody else. Well, there's not a lot of Sugais. There's a whole story about how Sugai might be a fake name. Oh, well. The, but that, it's your name it? anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you, do. My, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you call me all my fake name, what? dog. Gavin, fake name. No, Gavin Sugai. Why? <laughs> Gavin, fake name Sugai. What Why? You what? Do? What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> like Lickens, huh, dog? Hi, where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from the east side, dog. You know what I mean? <laughs> four four bangers, dog. You know what I mean? <laughs> right, 94 block, <laughs> Whoa, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we went too far there. I, I, I'm sorry. You I'm, know I'm not a 4 4 bang. We talked about from the beginning to the end now. <laughs> talk about from like where I'm from and then like now. I thought about that, but I didn't mention it too. Well, you know what? That's okay. We're here now. But so that's that's Kampai Sugai. Kampai Sugai, yes. Change it from Talk Story. Yep. So I mean, people still know me as Talk Story, but the thing is, you know, there's other Talk Stories out there, and I still support them. But that's They're the thing. Nobody. I mean, I've never heard of any other Talk Story po- podcast. Really? I never. That's interesting. There are a lot. There are there are there are a lot actually. Out but there. talk story is a is a is a Hawaiian slang. It's a Hawaii slang. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like, you know, we own that stuff. So yeah. That's why when when I first seen your podcast, what got me was talk story. Mm. I was like, okay, here's the Asian guy, but he local as hell because his <laughs> shit says talk story. I like talk story too. Well, but I'm, th- I'm half Filipino, so I'm still you yeah. Know. But you from here, so yeah, you know, look at talk I'm, story. I'm still local, you yeah. know. What I mean? I maybe you have Japanese, yeah. but hey, you know, I don't go for Hiolani, you know what I mean? Public school. Wait, though. where you went? I went I went Kailo High School. Oh Kailua. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll tell you something about after. Oh, okay. No, I started I started um like an after school program there with at their interview. Really? Yeah, I mean one of my clients, me and him started an after school program there. Oh, okay. I mean not yet, but like it's still in the works, but we already did an event for there, but we just have to get it. Um, approved a, by the board, so we're trying to get like petitions and all that. So. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, wow. but that's like. Yeah, we, we we'll talk about that. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. Well, you know, mental health. We mental need to health. We need to talk about mental health. This damn pinnacle drink. <laughs> you know, let, let's just go to the last bottle. Right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> mental uh, health. You know, honestly, this is the this is the strongest one. <laughs> this is the this is the deadly one. No, you know what we should do? We should just sip on some wine. We'll sip on the wine. No, let's, let's do the, let's do the, let's do that oh, one. He first. really trying to. We'll we'll do it. Yeah. Oh, okay, now I know. We're, what now we're supposed last to show time. the logo. We're showing the logos over here. I'm the logo. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I should pour. Yeah, actually, maybe, should maybe, pour. <laughs> maybe maybe I should pour because. Uh, yeah, I didn't I didn't pour that one well. Oh, this last is time. interesting. Okay, okay, yeah, halfway, all right, and then and then we'll, we can take a full shot of what we what, what we, we like. would like the best. Yeah, at the end. Definitely not the sake. <laughs> I don't know about this one. That was not meant for drinks. This one is... um, How much time are we in? 40 seconds. Oh, shit. Yeah, no. You'd be surprised. I thought it was like 20 minutes. No, I was was thinking 50, 45 minutes, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Kampai. Hanahu. I'm scared. I'm scared. Tell me why I said Hanahu. (laughs) Hana, I was trying to say you, Hana. You might say something else after drinking this one. I was trying to say Hana Ho and Chi Hu. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I was saying Hana Ho. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> hey. Okay, let's go. Hang on. Hana, Hana Lulu is the new Hana Ho. Right? <laughs> a local brand <laughs> it's a local brand it is for local businesses Bruh, though i've never tasted that in my life <laughs> <laughs> what i'm crying that, it's right actually now a, it's actually Can a hibiscus i'm crying it's a it's a hibiscus um hibiscus vodka hibiscus is a flavor i mean it's it's so dark that i can't tell if that's a vodka because it's so damn dark oh. you know what i mean that was new you gotta be like a real drinker to drink that. <laughs> well, look, we're almost done with it. I mean, what do you mean? Uh, we took one shot. 
no, uh, no, I mean like imagine, oh. imagine how oh, much we yeah. drank oh, before we got to that point. <sighs> Mental health. Mental health. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kayla. <laughs> Get it together. <laughs> She's cracking up. <laughs> mental health. Okay, mental. <laughs> Okay, I'll get it together. I'll get it together. I can do this. Nah, no worries. We can do it. We're still doing it. We're, we're good doing. to go. Yeah. People love this. We're going to do more views Okay, right what now. about mental health? Honolulu. Help you know me what out. Hanaho. 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 you. Hanaho. you. Mental health, Mental health. Mental health. You gotta ask me the question though. Fuck, we can't even get to mental we health. We can't even get. We've been on mental health for like twenty you know, minutes. How about we talk about volleyball? Okay, I, I, yeah, I, I, let's I talk about talk, volleyball. I want to talk about volleyball. Yeah, we all talk about. We always talk about mental health all the time. So, how long have you been playing volleyball? I played since I was ten. No, nine. Nine years old. Wow. Yeah, oh, fifth that's... grade, fourth grade. That's when I started. That's the, that's that's when Same? I started playing. Yeah. Okay, where did you start though? Well, like, I, what I did school? it for church. Okay. Yeah. So wait, so you started in church or you started in school? I started in church. Okay, you guys had like your own like club, like for fun kind. Well, we did we did tournaments. So oh. it's for Youth for Christ. Um, <laughs> it's it's terrible, you know what I mean? <laughs> right, I'm swearing. Hey, fuck it, you know, <laughs> <laughs> whatever. <laughs> yeah, Youth for Christ. I just combined it in the same sentence. Um, hey, God knows. All right, anyway. I call him Uncle G. Uncle G. Yeah. Woo. You know. Sorry. Um. You know, because I feel like when people pray, you know, dear Heavenly Father. Yeah. Oh, but like Uncle for me, G. you know, for me, I feel like you just gotta talk to him like you're talking to you know your oh, friend, of your family, you know. You know so, what I mean? sup, Uncle G, how you doing, Hoin? You know, <laughs> that's how I would talk to him. He's wearing a lava lava. Yeah, <laughs> how you doing? How's the kids? <laughs> How's work? COVID, ah, shit. <laughs> uh, anyway, going back to <laughs> hot topic. Um, yeah, went to uh, they used to do tournaments for Youth for Christ, okay, and uh, we used to play Milani. That's the club I played for. For real? Did we play against each other? Bro, no, I, I don't know. I don't know now. Wait, like Milani, like church? Well, Milani, like, um, we, we played the field in Milani. Malka. Oh, I thought you meant you played, like, the club, like, there. Well, we played against them. I think we did play against them. Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. Where's the video? Well, I'm older than you, so I don't know. Maybe we. we I played up, though. I played up. Two or three years, but I don't even think. Oh, okay. Because I'm 25, 26. Okay. Well, yeah, maybe we did. Did you play then. down? Did you play girls only? No, we, we, we did mix. Oh, I never played co ed. Oh, okay. Okay, so yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, we we did, okay. We okay we're safe. All right. <laughs> okay, so you guys played co ed. Yeah. In church. Co-ed, yeah. From like nine years old till. Um, who? Oh. I, I did play in high school. I think it was like ninth grade. Then I stopped because I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. I just want to just cruise. You so know ninth I mean? grade. So wait, did you play for high school or no? I did. Mm-hmm. At Kalua. Yeah. Kelsey. What up? <laughs> Do you like beef? Yeah. Do you like Japanese Wagyu beef? Duh! Guys, if you said yes to both of these questions, let me tell you something. You guys need to hit up Easy Wagyu 808, right? This is no joke. Kelsey, tell us more about them. Yeah, so Easy Wagyu 808 sell these amazing Japanese Wagyu steaks. Mm-hmm. Um, even Australian Wagyu. <gasps> really? Caviar. Oh my even gosh. uni. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> and they're at very affordable prices. Oh. oh my god. And even when you purchase one of these Japanese Wagyu steaks, mm-hmm. you get a, a certificate of authenticity confirming that it is an official Wagyu steak from Japan. Get out of here. What the heck? Guys, let me tell you something. I have some really good news for you. If you DM Easy Wagyu 808 and you use my promo code KSP4, you will get an additional $5 off per pound of all Japanese Wagyu products. That means if he was discounting Japanese Wagyu beef for maybe like $10 off per pound, you use KSP4, you will get an additional $5 off. That means $15 off per pound for these awesome Japanese Wagyu products. Can you believe that? That's a steal. Crazy. And they're so delicious. Mm. Just, oh, mouth-watering. Mm. Gotta try it at least once. Mm. Guys, you want to tap into this amazing deal? All you need to do is DM Easy Wagyu 808. That's E-Z-W-A-G-Y-U 808. Use promo code KSP4. 
All right, so Scala. This, this is going to be posted um, beginning of the new year. Beginning of the new year. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people go and say new year, new me, right? Mm -hmm. But for you, what what are we, what are we doing in the new year? What what are we what, what are, are we doing goals? in the new year? What's the goals? Okay, milestone wise, I'm going to open my own office. Okay. Yes, instead of working from home or working at a Starbucks, yeah. bringing clients there, I'm going to bring them to an office. You know, mm -hmm. um, obviously get new equipment like this. But my main focus right now is to find somebody to help me out. So I'm find somebody who work to work with me, who can see the vision, just so that we can expand. Because I'm only a one woman show here. Mm -hmm. There's so much I can do, but it's I can't do it all by myself. And I wanna I wanna help these businesses. I wanna help these after school programs. I wanna help these, you know, nonprofits. But that's that's my thing. So I wanna help somebody come on board, expand, and I do have this idea. So oh, I feel like I don't want to talk about it. Okay, no, I want to <laughs> talk about it. So <laughs> this next year, I wanna host a big event. Okay. Um, it's going to be a full non-profit event. Okay. Okay. So, but it's not going to be, uh, you can think about it like an expo or, you know, like a workshop networking event, but it's going to be a little bit more for that. How's I got that? You. I got How do you, you like man. that? No worries. That's, that's perfect. Hanahu, yeah. Hanahu, <laughs> dog. Hanahu. <laughs> but yeah, um, 2020 use. That's awesome. 2020 yeah. use. I sh I, I'll, t I'll talk about mine because I was supposed to talk about that in the last one, but. You know, I was I was too fucked too up. Fucked up. <laughs> I, was, I was too fucked up, so I couldn't say. It. All boss already. Um, <laughs> so mine. Ooh, I don't Wait, know. Wait, okay, we want to take a shot, or you want to like? We can, we can take a shot. Okay, what do you want? Uh, wine or? Choose. Oh, sake. We'll god. do sake. Oh god, the wine. No, yeah, we'll do we'll do sake. Yeah. So. Um, so I okay. I I've re I've always said this. I hate doing political podcasts. I oh. hate. I hate doing it because I'm not, I'm not into that kind of field, right? But I'll do podcasts with people running for governor. I'll do it. Yeah. I'll do it because I did it for the mayors. You did. I did. Oh, because that was okay. I did it last yeah. year. Well, well. Yeah. Kampai. Kampai. Ola. Ola. Cheers. cheers. I just burped. We just said cheers three times in different three different languages. We just said oh yeah we did. <laughs> what is another one? French. Oh, what is French one? We'll look it up later. We'll do it <laughs> next time. Um, so I, I, you know, I'm gonna pursue it. I'm kind of pursuing it now. I the only reason why I don't like doing political podcasts is because you know I don't want people to think I'm biased or anything. Mm -hmm. I just want to just just get some shit out. You mm -hmm. know, something something quality for people. It's not really for me. It's just more for people to understand. People who are about it. Yeah. 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 And um, so there's that. I do have some celebrities in line. Ooh. I don't want to disclose it yet. No, you cannot before you're gonna get sued. Watch. I don't want to. I don't want to disclose <laughs> it. Don't. People will find out. People will find out. But I, I'm I'm taking things a little slower than I mm -hmm. usually do. Before I used to be really like I gotta get them on right now. Go, I gotta go, get them go, on. go 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 yeah. But then you know I want to take my time. I want to have some fun with this. You know I want to yeah. have more friends come on and just. Just shoot the shit, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, and that, that's why that's that's why the the podcast is like this compai guy. It's more of a freaking chill lay back. Lay yeah. back, you know what I mean? We can get serious, but I mean I mean we did get serious. Yeah, and we got a little rowdy too. Yeah, we got a little rowdy. Yeah, we got off serious. track for about we, half an hour. We, we, had, <laughs> we had people knocking on our <laughs> knocking on the we door. We had to go pee twice, like we had to pee twice. <laughs> I mean I just looked in the mirror, my face is freaking red. <laughs> You know what I mean? And I, that usually only happens if I just drink. But that's what we need. We need a mix of that. You know, we yeah. just, oh, it's so enjoyable. Um, if you could get these, these politicians on here to do that. <laughs> Garen's. Garen's will get choke bolts. <laughs> um, another thing I wanted to do, and I, I wanted to do this back in 2020, January 2020, which okay. was um, my, my heart goes out to like podcasters or people that are doing content creating out there. Yeah. So. Uh, I wanted to kind of start a networking group, you know. Oh, and that's then, awesome! Uh, we had the we had the venue at Alohilani to do <gasps> a networking event over there at the pool area. AKA, I've done events there. Don't let me know. 
All right, I'll let you know. Um, one of my friends actually he he leased out that that pool area, so okay. we talked about it. We were gonna open it up, but COVID happened. Yeah. So that didn't happen. Yeah. Um, but I, I want to just get people together because I feel like um, there's so many other content creators out there. Just people don't know. They just yeah. I mean, there's a lot of people here. Yeah, it, no, there's just, a lot of content creators. Yeah. It's just people don't know each other yet. It's just, which is strange. I, yeah. People don't know each other past the aspect of Instagram and partying. Right. <laughs> Where are the n- business networking events at nowadays? Yeah. So I, I wanted to just do something more for community wise. The purpose. The purpose. Yeah, yeah. Purpose. And just bringing people together because I think that. That's exactly why um, I want to do that. Yeah. We, we, have, we have the resources here to make it compatible. Yeah, competitive with you know the mainland or mm-hmm. other people around the world mm-hmm. and stuff like that especially podcasts i guess see podcasters that maybe just try to try to do stuff and then they fail and they kind of just mm-hmm. you know, they give up mm-hmm. but the thing is it's like no nah, nah, we can we can support each other and we can really just help yeah. each other out you yeah know? we can or just content yeah content oh, creators in general this makes me so happy Gav. so there's that <laughs> There was another thing. I don't know if I want to talk about this. But I'll, I'll well, talk about it. If anything, you can cut it out. I'll talk I want to know. I'll talk yeah. about it briefly. So okay. I had this event where I wanted to do... So there's a there's a, there's a a um, event in the mainland called VidCom. And they, they mm. have a bunch yeah. of... Um, Video <coughs> content creators. Yeah, YouTube yeah. content creators that come out. Yeah. It's, it's more for like a meet and greet with them. And then they do panels yeah. and discussions and stuff. So I had that idea to bring that to Hawaii. Because we have the people here to do that. And you know who the number one VidCom is? Who's that? Bretman. Really? Oh, yeah. Bretman rocks. He's the yeah. number in Hawaii, at least. Yeah. Number right. one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we have Bella Roach now. You know? Ooh. Bella's Whoa. another one. So so we have the people here. We have Clown in. You know? Hey, shout out to Eastham. He watches this. I know he does. <laughs> you know? We, we talk online. How but... <laughs> <laughs> um, but we have the people here to to do that. We could do panel talks and stuff like that to to inspire people to want to you know step out. Yeah. Of, not just like I mean, some people. I don't know. Me, maybe they they're sick of their like nine to five. It's actually eight to five jobs. You know what I mean? Uh, and they want to. It's like. And they want to try something different. You know, yeah. they want to be content creators. Mm-hmm. They want to explore that creative route. So it's fun. So I had this idea of just doing it at the, the Blaze or, or Hawaii Convention Center, just making it a big, a big event. VidCon. Yeah. But we'll, we'll so make we it a Hawaii nev- version. We have never had a, a Hawaii VidCon. We never had. We got to talk about this after the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. We, we can make it big. I have I have the resources to kind of do it, but then it's just it's COVID the happened. the team, too. The you team, too. The team. The team. Yeah. COVID happened, so it screwed things up, but... You know, now that things are starting to have the vision open up a yeah. little bit, it's 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 easier for people to do oh, it. Oh, that's so awesome! Yeah, we oh, have. Oh, if you could start that shit and make that shit annual, your yeah, fucking annual. Name, get your name, <laughs> the Sugai, the Sugai Ohana. <laughs> well, we we do have one famous Sugai actually, <laughs> Daniel Sugai. Shout out to Daniel Sugai. He's he's actually Instagram and uh, TikTok verified. Okay. No, yeah. He's That's a dermatologist. Yep. So Sugai is out there, you know. Okay, so you about to be the next one. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> first is the worst, second is the best. I, I just, <laughs> wa- I just want to try. I just want to get people together and just, you know, just help the community out. Yeah. And stuff like it's this. Exactly. You know? Exactly. And I feel like Hawaii people are like that too. Like they're yeah. they're always about the community first, you know. Yeah. Community, family, ohana. Exactly, and. You know, I, I don't think, I don't believe in competition, especially here. I don't mm-hmm. definitely, like for other podcasters, if they ever DM me, I'm fucking right there with them. Like, yeah. yeah. Here you go. Yeah. You know, I'll give you, a, I'll, I'll give you an equipment list. This is what you yeah. should get. You know yeah. what I mean? So, um, yeah, if you're a podcaster, you know what I mean? You need yeah. some help. Hey, DM me. Fuck it. I'm, especially I'm in cool. Hawaii. I'm good to go. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're in the middle of the dang ocean. Exactly. So we got to get out of the water. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, Kayla, I Man. am super happy that you came over to Same, today. same, Gav. Thank you for coming on this show. And um, you know what? Honestly, I don't know if I'm the right person to tell you this because, you know, we just met today. No, no worries. Person, yeah. But 
I think you're on fire with what you're doing. Really? And I think you're you're in the right direction. You should keep going in that direction. And if you need people to hype you up, if you feel like depressed or anything, you, we're here for you. Yeah. I mean, fuck it. Well, we'll we'll drink. We'll we'll, <laughs> we'll get better. We'll, it. we'll get better shit than this. But <laughs> <laughs> but um. <laughs> So I just I just buried all the brands that are here. Anyway, well, uh, yeah. If you, if you need people to hype you up, yeah, we're, we're here for you. Yeah. I, no, I appreciate it. That's why I'm here. You know what you I mean? Know? So, um, we totally support you. You know yeah. what I mean? We support what you're doing. Thank you. Put your heart behind it. So, just keep doing you. You know what I mean? You made me cry. I don't know. You're holding back. Well, whatever. No, you made me cry just because alcohol. The alcohol is ready to come out of my eyes. <laughs> The, the alcohol came out of my head, you know, while well, sweating. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go pee a couple times, so. Well, these, the alcohol came out that way. <laughs> um, anyway, Kayla, we what we like to do on the show is we like to end it off with a kampai. We've already kampai <laughs> kampai what, eight times? <laughs> <laughs> kampai number nine. We, we kampai Ola and kampai Cheers. Kampai number nine. Quite, quite a bit. Right? You want to do Ola? We could do Ola instead, actually. Ola? Yeah, we'll or do we'll Ola. Do com- we'll do Kampai Ola. Or <laughs> Kampai Oscar's Ola? <laughs> no, I was going to say Mabu Hai. Mabu Hai? Ah, is that Filipino? It is Filipino. But is that Filipino? Oh, my God. You know what? I We're going to look up uh, another way to cheers. I'm so, uh, I'm so bad. I don't even know now. Cheers. French. What? Oh, she f- she what figured it, it out. What is, what is French? That sounds That's too hard. That's too much. That sounds <laughs> too hard to say. Can't even fucking say the first part. <laughs> I don't even know the first letter to that. <laughs> what did you say? F or A? A Avocharasante. That sounds Spanish. Cheers in Spanish. <laughs> Avocharasante. Sounds bad. Pra- so, so which one you wanna? Which one you wanna do? Oh, how do we not know this? What is cheers in Spanish? No. No, 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 it's not. We know this. I, I looked at the word and I'm like, how do I not know this? We all know this. Oh my god. I feel like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't. It is. It I is. Can't think of it right now. It's on the tip of his tongue. Maybe I just drank too much. <laughs> Salud. Oh, right. ah! <laughs> oh. This is what I'm saying. How did we not know this? Dang. I feel bad now. I know. I, I'm so sorry to all the Filipinos out there. I I know I'm half. I'm sorry. <laughs> I failed you guys. Filipinos. <laughs> sorry for all of you guys out there. So cheers. Kampai. Hola. Salud. Are we going to say all of them? No, I just <laughs> talking about the ones that I know <laughs> as of the past two hours. What is Mabu? Is Mabu High one? What is Mabu High? I don't remember now. Is Ma- Mabu Hai is Filipino? You never heard Mabu Hai? Oh, Mabu Hai is Filipino. I, but I'm what sorry. is that? I'm sorry. If you if you know, you put it in the comments. <laughs> okay. I'm so sorry. I drank too much. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Shit, I can't even think of it. Not as much as Monday, though. Not that bad. <laughs> I want to see that podcast. <laughs> No, that that was bad. That was that was bad. I, I you I guys ended, got off track too. Well, I ended it because um. <laughs> Because I was I was fading out. <laughs> my, <laughs> my my vision was going like this. It was a fucking yeah. It was like, it was zooming yeah. in. My my vision's pretty good here. I I'm aware of everything. But everything when when I did that one, every blink I did, I was I was like oh fuck, this is oh, bad. Oh cannot already. Uh, cannot. Oh no okay. can. Oh Paul. Paul fuck, on us. Fucking dead bird over there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Roadkill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Paul. Kayla, we need a we need a okay, we need Ola, a, we need a salute. Kampai. Cheers. What do we? We what need an exit too. So I wanted I want to do my exit, okay. my extra at the end of the, at the end of the podcast. O- okay. Uh, which okay, which which one do you want to do? We'll do the sake. The sake is is pretty easy. It's easy to down. We'll we'll wrap things up here. Yeah, we'll we'll. Take the shot. We'll do the extra. I'll teach you how to do the extra. Okay. And okay. then we'll we'll keep this in. We'll keep, keep this, this in. in. Yeah. yeah, we'll keep this in. So, yes. Kayla, this is to a great 2021, uh, great. 2022 that you're. 2021. What is that? Well, 2022. 2022. Um, this is for your 2021. Actually, your success in 2021. Yours as well. As well. The Thank relaunch. You. The relaunch. The rebrand. Thank Love you. Love that. Thank you. 
Let's、uh, go. Yeah, kanpai. Kanpai. <sighs> That was good. All right, what's this extra? This extra. You've never seen my IGTV? Not the full thing. Probably the full thing. I think you've seen the full thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, whenever I start the intro, I always go, Hello, how are you? I hope you're having a great day. Oh, that. <laughs> That's the okay. intro. Okay, I've seen that. Yes, yes. That's when I start it. So when I end it, I'll just be like, it's only for us. Okay, love you, K. Bye. K. Like, K. Bye. Okay, love you, K. Bye. K. Love you, K. Bye. No, but we gotta say it at the same time. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay, love you, K. Bye.